Good morning, everyone. We're going to be exploring Badlands National Park. Up until maybe a few weeks ago, we didn't really know anything about it. But now that I'm seeing it, the expectations are high. Look at that. It looks fake. So today we're doing the 240 route. We're going to see tons of lookouts. We're going to do trailheads and just look at the Badlands. It's going to be awesome. So far, this is super cool. It's got like all these red and tan layers and it just looks like you're on Mars or something. Let's go check out the rest of it. What do you say? Poor little Byron had to stay in the ambulance. I took him out and he was so excited. And then I see this sign right here. No pets. <laughs> Hi, Byron. <laughs> According to this, the French trappers called them les mauvaises terres. Let me translate that for you. It means bad land. <laughs> oh. Literally, I just said that to Mike a second ago. I was like, oh, mauvais star means bad land. And I was like, oh, duh. <laughs> anyway, I guess the French gave this name to the, to the land. We're off to our next overlook or trail. I don't know. <laughs> Poor Byron. <laughs> we'll see. We'll do the whole thing. We're These are not very sturdy, but I think we'll be okay. I don't have a hiking boot. We'll find you some. Not too bad. <laughs> wow, good old picture right here. Very good old picture. <laughs> Keep right. It's the left. Okay, we are back. We're making breakfast. This is a nice part about having a, uh, a camper on the road. Yeah, we just had the trailhead, but I was hungry. Me too. We're making some breakfast sausage in here. Halloumi cheese, yogurt, and we'll make some eggs. Nice little brick. Buon The wildlife goals for today are seeing a bison. One bison <laughs> and one prairie dog. One prairie dog but and a rattlesnake. I feel like I'm gonna fall. So steep. Ah! I need hiking boots. Oh, careful. I'm exhausted. This is called Saddle Pass Trailhead. And it's really it's nice, steep. but it's so steep. Yeah. It's getting kind of hot. It's like 10 a.m. now. We're just not prepped. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish it. And Byron can't come to any of these trails. That's Just so you know, if you're bringing your dog, you can't bring them to any of the trails. Yeah, I think we're gonna turn back. Yeah. I think it ends all the way up there. <laughs> it's struggling. It's so slippery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you. Come here. 
That's a nice boulder. I like that boulder. So far, National Park, very cool. Although, we're not meeting our quota on wildlife. Zero buffalo, zero prairie dog, and zero rattlesnakes, which is probably for the best. I think we saw our first bit of wildlife. Yep. We're driving down the road and we see all these like dirt but holes. I thought it was like little sticks because they weren't moving. I was like, what is that? And I then, think they're prairie dogs. Yeah. See them. Do you really? Yeah, I see one. Oh, there it is. Wow, there's so many. Brian, are you happy to be outside? <laughs> hey, buddy. He's so happy. in Robert's Prairie Dog Town. Not much out here, but you guessed it, Prairie Dogs. Guess what we found? Bison poop. I think that's a bison print. Are they that big? Right over there, there's a little black dot, and we think it's bison. I hope so. Okay, there's like a deer, or I don't know how they call it, right there. But then there's a bison all the way over there and it's huge. That thing is huge. <laughs> that right there, that's a herd of buffalo. Oh, you can't see it yet guys, but there's a buffalo. We're stopping. We're stopping. See that thing? That's a good shot. <gasps> no way. He's running on the ground. Hey there, buddy. All outside my bedroom window. I want to be your friend. I'm tired of this freaking Okay. Get down, Mark. What are these birds? I've never seen that. Oh. oh, yeah. I just missed it. Did it go? Oh, there it goes. Look what we just got. We're going to our campsite for the night and yeah. it's a boondocking place right outside the park. Tons of campers and RVs here which is really cool. So we're going to try to find a really good spot. It's only 1230. We started super early this morning which I think was the right thing to do. And so we're going to park for, <laughs> for the night really. And then tomorrow we're going to Look where we're parking tonight. So it's slanted right now on this side. We don't have any like leveling blocks. Planted for sure. I think that we need to buy leveling blocks, guys. <laughs> what do you think? I hate it here. Let's go home. Our home is right there. <laughs> oh, this way. We just heard coyotes. Like. And I managed to not get it on video. Or he was like this. I was just like, what is that? Wait, what the heck? I should have said something. What? There's cows over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cows. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. everyone we are leaving our spot and then we'll see what else we do
think? Uh, good. Hello. Do you like my sunglasses? Okay, we're on Mount Rushmore. Yeah. And we're about to head out. Let's go. We just parked over there and it's free to see the monument, but we gotta pay ten dollars for parking, which we haven't paid yet. I'm good. Look. I... Guys, it's right there. Do we need to go in now? Just to get another two hundred feet closer? Yeah, we have to. Okay. <laughs> Michael looks like a nerd. I'm not sure what else they have to here. I mean this is it. Come and look at it. They do have like a museum and they explain like how they built it. During the 14 year construction. So there's actually more to do than we thought. That's good. There is like a trail with like 425 steps up. I think we're gonna do it. It's pretty hot too. And we don't have any water. <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, pretty good. <laughs> I think it's worth stopping. I mean, it's a lot smaller than I thought, but there's lots to do and lots of cool facts. So that helps. We are now in Wind Cave National Park but we actually didn't do the wind cave, <laughs> so. We have to pay for a tour guide. We just didn't really feel like it. So we opted for one of the trails that we can bring a dog on. Let's go. Let's go. We made it to the top of the hill. The parking lot's right there. <laughs> this is the biggest dandelion I've ever seen. Thirsty boy. And we're back. It was more a walk, but it's kind of the only trail here that you can bring a dog. So we did it for Byron. Now we're on a wildlife trail. Cold Brook Canyon. Oh, that's buffalo traps. Yeah, comparison. Wow. Also, my sandals are really embarrassing me because I have high arches and I think my high arches like kind of suction on my sandals and it keeps making these like little noises. It's not a little noise, it's a fart noise. <laughs> Every now and then you just walk in and go. No, it's not like that, it's more like <laughs> <laughs> And it's so embarrassing when I walk next to someone, I'm like, it's not me, it's my sandals. <laughs> oh, a chipmunk. <laughs> oh, turd. They like yeah, even it? have the swirl of an emoji turd. Buffalo pie. Yeah, that's definitely fresh. <laughs> <laughs> this is prairie dog land. These are the holes they live in. Aww. This one is trying to warn him that we're dangerous. We're not dangerous. I'm super dangerous. On the wildlife trail, we found probably 20 turds, zero buffalo. We have found a buffalo. Actually, two. They're so big. So we found this camping spot on iOverlander. It's apparently pretty rough, so we'll see if our ambulance makes it. That'll make it. But apparently, amazing views. drive. There's only two spots up there so we're really hoping no one is there. This is hilarious. It's ah! so shaky. Everything's staying together though. That's good. Wow, what a view. Been going up for how long? At 10 minutes? 10, 15 minutes. And it's just getting worse. I don't see an end in sight. We don't know where the spot is yet. 
give it a big old thumbs up make sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure I guess so, peace.